What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 7th tutorial in C. And in this tutorial I'm going to be going over assignment operators and counters and showing you guys uh, an easier way to work with loops. So in our last tutorial I showed you guys whenever you wanted to increment uh, like a counter or anything, you could have counter equals counter plus 1. And what this would do is add 1 to the old value of counter since if it was 6 before, it would now make it 7 and set it equal to counter. So this is a way that you could go through while loops and stuff like that. But there's an easier way to do just this. And I'm going to show you guys right now. Instead of writing this over and over again, another way that you can do this is write counter plus equals 1. And what this would do is the exact same thing as this. It's just an easier way to write it. And another thing you can do to increment it by 1 is equal to counter plus plus in this actually you would need it like that counter plus plus right after that and all of this means the exact same thing and in case you still don't know what I'm talking about I'm gonna show you guys right now <coughs> sorry I got whooping cough still so let's make an integer variable and let's name it counter and we'll set it equal to one gotta get my cursor out of the way and so let's make a basic while loop and in our test condition We'll write while counter is less than 10. What do we want to do while counter is less than 10? Um, let's print F. Let's just print on the screen um, the variable counter. Actually, I may add a new line to this. And as you can see before, um, before if we wanted to go through the loop, since we need a counter is less than 10, we need to make this value of counter more than 10 at some point so it actually ends so let's go ahead and write counter equals counter plus one and as you can see what this is going to do is loop through the entire while loop it's going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine and then it's going to terminate so as you can see you wrote one two three four five six seven eight nine and then the counter got more than 10 so it terminated but an easier and alternative way to do this, again, as I described to you guys, is write counter plus equal, um, let's add one to it each time. And again, this doesn't have to be one. It can be anything like three. So let's add three to it each time. So this should execute three times since it's uh, three, six, nine, and then it gets more than 10. So execute, compile, and run. Come on, come on. Hopefully it works. One, four, seven. So that's an easier way to go through your counter um, using this little operator right here. And this is called the assignment operator. What it does is take this value and add it to this to get a new variable. And that's a neat little trick that you can use. And another thing that I want to teach you guys while on the subjects of loops and assignment operators is something called the for loop. Now what the for loop does is if you know exactly how many times you're going to want to do your loop, you can use the for loop syntax. And the syntax for this is this, so pay attention. The first argument it takes is called the initial initialization. And for this, you need to set your counter equal to a number to start. Just like we did up here, we're going to need to do the exact same thing right here. And make sure you're going to have three arguments in here. Make sure you're separating them with a semicolon and not a comma. The next argument it takes is the condition. So we're going to say, all right, while well, counter is less than 20, let's mix things up a bit. So it's going to say, all right, you're going to start at 1, you're going to go to 20, and we. And the last argument is going to say, how much do you want to increment it by? And remember, um, we can use any of the syntax we used before but plus plus makes it really easy to increment by one each time and you don't need a semicolon after your last one and then after all that you need to enter your body text so in the body of this for loop uh, let's just put what can we put that's real easy print f um, percent d new line um, should we write anything I'll just show you guys what this means right here and then I'll explain it to you. Um, execute, compile, and run. 
hopefully this works and then I'll explain to you guys what was going on one last time as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Worked perfectly. So to recap one more time what went on. For the for loop, you can have a certain bit of code run as many times as you want. And, that, and how many times depends on what your argument is on the for loop. Since it takes three arguments, what you want the number to start at is 1 what you want the number to go to or its limit is the second argument and how many you want the counter to increment by is its third argument and in case you guys were wondering I'm gonna be posting all this code on my website thenewboston.com so make sure to go to my website subscribe and check it out there and um, I don't know what I'm gonna be teaching in the next tutorial probably a switch statement so make sure to learn this tutorial copy my code and check out my next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching now. See you guys next time.